Hello, Rick Sneed here. This tip is about using thesaurus to redefine the content of a field. Oftentimes, what we as analysts understand needs to be made clearer to our audience. For example, not everyone knows the patent country code DE stands for Germany, or ZA for South Africa. I'll briefly introduce you to the library of thesauruses that comes with VantagePoint and then demonstrate how they are applied to enhance field content. As we often say, VantagePoint gives the analyst a suite of text mining, analysis, and reporting tools found nowhere else in a single application. And as a result, analysts have the freedom and flexibility to tell their analytical stories to best fit the varied and specific challenges they face. This tip falls under the category of data refinement and uses the thesaurus function found in the upper ribbon under the refine tab. In general, thesauruses are key to data refinement when it comes to allowing the analyst to build their analysis based on their terms. Here we have the list of thesauruses VantagePoint offers. Sorry for the small print. Pause a minute and take a closer look. While VantagePoint offers a variety of ways to apply thesauruses, the three key groupings are related to the more common uses. Regular is meant to match an entire term and replace the whole term with something else. For example, ZA replaced with South Africa. Regular or grouping thesauruses are mainly intended to group lists, a topic we cover in our tip about grouping data. Find and replace thesauruses matches a part of a term and replaces just that part. These are often running in the background during a scripted process. We're going to demonstrate with two of them, patent country and IPC subclass definitions. Now let's take a look. Here we see the summary sheet of the dental composition sample file. Let's use the handy type to filter feature and quickly locate the country fields. I'm going to pick priority country to make a list. Now let's open the refine tab and click on thesaurus. Here you see the thesaurus pop up with type to filter windows and the priority country field selected. You can keep the new field name the thesaurus generates or rename. Let's keep what's there. Now, we will browse the thesaurus list to the patent country thesaurus and click OK. This generates a second priority field listing all the defined countries. Jumping back to the summary, we now see this added field along with the original. Vantage Point never overrides original fields. Now let's try this again using the IPC subclass thesaurus. I'll use the type to filter and quickly find the field. Click to make a list. Now I'll open the thesaurus window from the refine tab. For the new subclass field, I'm going to indicate it's defined. Next, I'll open the thesaurus list and type to filter with the term subclass. Click, and there you have it. As you can see, Thesaurus are useful time savers. We cover their many uses throughout our Vantage Point tips. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Vantage Point. We hope you found it time well spent. Here is our email for those of you who have further questions. Goodbye.